<clears throat> Greetings, folks. It's Eric here. Um, I'm replying to a comment from a uh, subscriber. Uh, Jackie Chung here says, uh, I have a quick question. What does the save error checkbox refer to exactly? How would saving the page with and without that box checked affect it somehow? Now, this is in response to my video, Wayback Machine, How to Create a Website Snapshot, snapshot on Archive.org, Part 1. That was posted in March of 2019. So I am so then I replied, I'm not sure what you mean. Can you clarify where exactly you are seeing save error? And then Jackie said, What I mean is this: I want to save a page that hasn't been archived on Wayback and follow the steps into saving the URL I want to archive. Before saving, Wayback Machine shows me a page with the checkbox, Save Error Pages 404, beneath the URL I want to save. My question is, will unchecking checking the option affect the URL in any way? Well, let's find out. So in this video, we are going to try to replicate what Jackie is talking about. And so the way we do this is I'm starting with a web page that I know isn't in the Wayback Machine because I just created it. Well, I created it a couple months ago, but I haven't put it in the Wayback Machine. So now I'm going to put it in the Wayback Machine, and this page is ericheperly.com slash freedom. I'll hit enter, and Wayback tells me, hmm, it's not archived that URL, but it is available. So I'm going to click Save This URL. Ah, save error pages, HTTP status. So what does that do? I, the answer is I don't think that'll cause any issues. But let's, uh, let's pop that into browser and do a search. See what does that mean? That's not it. Archive. Uh, now let's do Wayback Machine. Save error pages. Option. Save error pages. Okay. Save pages in Wayback Machine. Uh, Not really offering too much information about that. Let's try putting quotes around it. Here's an article on TechDim. And let's see what it's save error pages. On the save page now page, you will notice some options. If you want to save pages with active links on that page, save out. If web pages return with an error code, Well, unfortunately, Jackie, and anybody else uh, looking at this, it looks like there's not a whole lot of information on how that works. A lot of articles are referencing the Save Error Pages box, but it doesn't say what it does. My belief is that. Uh, saving the error page probably just basically um, let's say 
Let's do this here. Save error pages status. And we'll just do save page and see what happens. I'm going to click. I'm going to log in. To log in first. I'm going to click save also. <sighs> save also in my web archive. And you see it says saving. Shouldn't take that long to save because it's not a very big page. There's not much in it. But it may be that. Uh, Maybe lots of other things. It may be that I need to start this over. Uh, no. Back. Grab the URL. Pop it in there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Troubleshooting a little bit. Okay. So today it was saved. It's probably Greenwich Mean Time or something because it's 7 or 5 a.m. my time. Saved just a few seconds. And let's just make sure it's on there. Come on, archive.org. All right, I'm going to pause it. Okay, the website finished loading finally, and uh, I had this idea. Here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and look at my web archive. So I'm in my account, and I go to my web archive. And so I can see everything I've ever saved in here. And do. Um, Twenty. See it by. And those. Those create review. They add. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So. Oh, that's interesting. What said it was added. And not. So we'll just go back here. When you're using Wayback Machine, I recommend having an account. Uh, when you have an account, your stuff w can be saved uh, in your account. So I'm going to go to Save Page. And we'll just try to save it again. So because I'm in my account, it gives me all these options. Save outlinks, save error pages, save screenshot, save also my web archive. Please email me the result. So if there's any kind of errors on out, outlink, right? so links that are on the page in addition to the page itself. And then I've got a snapshot that says it's been created. Same snapshot has been made four minutes and one second ago. We only allow new but So it made it and it's telling me where to access it. So here's the snapshot. And that's the page. And the page looks great. But let's say, for instance, that uh, this PHP fatal error, let's say that that link was broken. In that case, you would have a 404 error. And then it would still save, I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is what would happen. It would save uh, the 404 page. Because some places, you know, have fancy 404 pages. It's kind of best practice today to make a customized 404 page. So, so there you go. Uh, 